Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is relational model in DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. EF Cord is a person who developed relational model in 1970s. Guys, relational model is nothing but database which shows data in the form of tables that is in the form of rows and columns is known as relational model. So relational model can be represented as a table with columns and rows. For example, let us consider there is college database. Inside college database, there is student table. Guys, we also call this student table as relation. This student is nothing but table name or you can also call this table name as relation. Why we call it as relation? Because if you consider this student table, in this student table, we will store only student related information like student name, student rule number and student section. For example, let us consider there are two tables. By using primary key and foreign key, I can relate these two tables. That is nothing but I can connect these two tables. That is why we call this table name as relation. So you can call this student as table or you can also call it as relation. Whereas this name, rule number and section are column names. You can also call these column names as fields or you can also call them as attributes. All are same. For example, if you consider name column, you can also call this name column as name field or you can also call it as name attribute. All are same, don't get confused. For example, if you consider name SAI, rule number 121 and section A, this is one row. So we call it as row. So we can also call this row as tuple or we can also call this row as record. So name SAI, rule number 121 and section A, it is considered as row or tuple or record. All are same. Each column is known as field or attribute. These are advantages of relational model. First one is simple. When compared to all models, relational model is very simple because if you know SQL, that is structured query language, you can easily use this relational model. And next one is accuracy. Whatever the data that is present inside relational model, all those data will be correct because relational model will not allow duplicate values and all those data is in well-organized format. So accuracy is one of the advantage. And next advantage is security. Relational model contains various access permissions and also we can keep password to our database. So only authorized users can access database. That is why this relational model is secure. And last advantage is flexible. Flexible is nothing but we can easily insert data, update data or delete data in database. That is why this relational model is flexible. And next I will explain disadvantages of relational model. In order to use relational database, you need high hardware support like you need high-end RAM, processor, hard disk, etc. Otherwise, it will cause hardware problems. And this relational model is not suitable for large databases. These are disadvantages of relational model. Guys, in exam, you may get separate question like explain relational model or explain relational database. Whenever these questions come in exam, you can write this answer. 